Hello everybody and this is Terry and welcome back. This is in response to a question that I was asked yesterday by a friend who works in a flower shop and the question was how and when if and if I should he should cut off the flower spike. Now there are a couple of different options that you can do. You can leave the flower spikes on like I do because I like to be reminded that the plant has flowered, has spiked, but probably the smart thing to do would be to cut the flower spikes after they've browned. And if they've browned to the point of browning like this, they are dead. They will not bloom anymore. And so these spikes can be clipped at the base. Now, same with this one, can be clipped at the base. Now, for instance, this one right here, you can see this has bloomed, it's losing a few leaves, but the flower spike is still, bright, is still a green color and in fact it has branched off and created two new spikes one here and one here this one's probably not going to be good so in this instance what i would do since this part of the plant is dead you can see that this is brown and it's going to be browning all the way down this is browning off what I would do is I would cut the plant, I would cut this off right about here. Just by using sterile scissors, like such. Now, in the instance of a plant that has previously bloomed that has just finished blooming and you repotted your plant here's two examples recently repotted plant one has a spike that is brown the other one has a spike has two spikes three spikes that are green but it has browning at the tip so what to do this is what you do as long as it's green, it is viable. Where it is brown, it is not. So for this one, we can go ahead, like I said, cut that at the base, that's done. With this one, over here, you can, these are the nodes that you wanna concentrate on, where the flowers were at. You can just pick any node and you want to cut above the node like that and the flower will come the new if it's going to produce it will produce it from there same as like that did it produced that from a node okay same as this one to cut this one you can see it's brown here it is still green here i will cut it right there simple all right some people also will put cover the tips with cinnamon or I have dragon's blood just as an antiseptic to keep uh, any viruses or just any any you know diseases from getting into the the plant but that's pretty much all that is required and if, when you do that, that will ensure many years of phalaenopsis balloons for you to enjoy for a long season. Thank you for watching.